So can you can you use your crowning muscles? So you can see she has some movement in her glabella. That movement in the glabella is, you know, um, you know, some people call these the 11 lines. I call them the mad mark, you know, because this is actually like, it's mainly like most people just get it from concentrating really hard, but nobody really looks very good with these 11s or this mad mark on their forehead. So the, the answer to that is actually Botox. And the reason why the answer to this, to this is Botox rather than filler is because these, these lines here are made from a motion of dynamic activity in, the, in these muscles. And so you can frown again. You can see they, these lines get deeper every time she makes a frowny face. Well, every time you make that frowny face, it's creasing the, the skin there, and that creasing repetitively causes a permanent line. Botox actually is a muscle relaxant that relaxes these muscles for about three to four months at a time. So after we inject it in, it's not gonna look anything different today, but over the next week, what's gonna happen is she's gonna have decreased motion and these muscles are gonna relax and then it's gonna actually open up her brow. So you might be hearing people talk about the chemical brow lift. A chemical brow lift is made up of injections here and then also along the arch of the brow and the crow's feet that opens up the entire eye area.